I got a request to recommend a skincare routine for teenagers. I am going to make some recommendations what I think you need as a teenager, so basically high school. Um, okay, so you have to understand at all stages of life, less is actually more. But especially when you are in high school, less is more. The most important thing is that you're actually building good habits. You're actually doing a routine on a daily basis. You are wearing SPF. You are taking off your makeup at night, come hell or high water. Like, if you can build that habit in high school, you will be so thankful. You don't want to put any harsh ingredients on your skin because your skin doesn't need it like your skin is in great condition unless you have acne but even if you have acne like your acne is going to heal i promise i recommend double cleansing so you need two cleansers get an oil cleanser or a balm cleanser i recommend to clinique take the day off because it's very gentle it's inexpensive for your first balm cleanser get a balm cleanser it's going to break down that oil that makeup that spf that you wear throughout the day and then get a cleanser that's going to actually clean and work to clean your skin. Those are two separate jobs that need to be done. You need to take your makeup off and you need to clean your skin. A lot of people confuse it by using one cleanser for both of those functions, both of those jobs that need to be done, but that is not how it works. Your skin needs to be cleaned with a cleanser and your makeup needs to be removed with a different product. I don't recommend makeup wipes, but they're better than nothing. Like if you don't want to use a balm cleanser, use a makeup wipe. Wipe. They're not good for the environment. They can scratch your skin up. They leave trace product on your face. Like they're not the greatest, but better than nothing. Okay, so let's forget about the makeup wipe, but you can just remember I said that. So get a balm cleanser take the day off cleansing balm is an amazing w place to start but pixie also makes one it's the caroline hirons the double cleanse um i'm trying to think of like um drugstore brands simple makes one simple is a brand i'll link all these below you want to cleanse your skin with a basic gentle moisturizer that's non-fragrant anything cream based that's non-foaming, non-stripping, non-fragrant. Cetaphil would be the only one I'm thinking. Cetaphil or CeraVe. But those have a ton of like random ingredients like parabens and SLS. But they're non-irritating supposedly. Dermatologists recommend them, so whatever. But um, what's a good cleanser? Well, I think I just figured out why dermatologists recommend Cetaphil because literally there is not a cream cleanser at the drugstore that's non-fragrant. Literally. <laughs> I just googled around. I can't find anything. Um, so I don't know what your budget is. If you have a budget, get the Kate Somerville goat milk cleanser. What else could you get? I, I'm not used to advising teenagers so that's why I've struggled to find a cream cleanser that's good for your age group and this is probably the best one I have found it's the hydrating facial cleanser by CeraVe I would say get the CeraVe a lot of people recommend it it does have parabens but they are not really that harmful it's more of like a marketing thing so it's okay I would say out of your options, if you're looking for a budget-friendly drugstore type of cream cleanser. Okay, moving on. You need a first cleanse, you need a second cleanse, you need a moisturizer. You don't really need a toner, but if you want a toner, get an essence toner. Get a toner that is non-astringent. I don't care, even if you're oily, it doesn't matter. Get a toner that is... Um, herbal that you can just put on your hands 
and press into your skin. You don't need to get a toner that actually you put on a cotton ball like one of those toners. If you're going to do that, get a micellar water because that is strictly to remove excess dirt makeup and oil that you didn't get off during your cleansing process. But since you're double cleansing, you don't really need a toner. I don't recommend astringents because they dehydrate the skin, they dry out the skin. You don't want to you don't want to dry out the skin. Um okay, so you want to first cleanse, second cleanse moisturize moisturize you want to moisturize now you need a good basic moisturizer again no idea let me look so Avino has non-fragrant moisturizers um, simple probably has non-fragrant moisturizers birds bees look for a non-fragrant moisturizer that doesn't have a lot of fluff that's designed for sensitive skin you really want products designed for sensitive skin because your skin is baby skin your skin is sensitive skin in fact all of our skin is sensitive find something for sensitive skin that's non-fragrant with no alcohols find something really moisturizing that when you wake up in the morning your skin feels good not too oily but good you want something with hyaluronic acid the neutrogena hydro boost that's what you should get Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Yes. Yes. Get the non fragrant version of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. That's what you should get. This is a good product. You want to find something with hyaluronic acid because that is one of the most moisturizing ingredients and it's very gentle to your skin. Get a hyaluronic based moisturizer. The Neutrogena one's amazing. Like I said, Avino has some good moisturizers. Just get something hydrating. Then you want to wake up in the morning and you just want to rinse your face with tepid water. So not too cold, not too warm because your skin is, unless you're super, super oily and you feel like you need to cleanse again, then you can use your cream cleanser in the morning. But if you just wake up and you think you can get away with just cleansing with water, one of the best things you can do is use warm water and just more like wash your face with warm water and massage your own oils around your face so your oils typically produced in this area but if you can actually use warm water and massage it to your cheeks and your temples and down your neck and use warm water to kind of cleanse and spread the oil around that is one of the best things you can do for anti-aging because it is your own natural oils and it's balancing the oil and it's going to keep your skin very healthy and glowy looking if you want to use a micellar water you can do that too or just cleanse with warm water you got to use your best judgment then no matter what you want to moisturize with if you can use your moisturizer that you use at night if it's not too oily or get a daytime moisturizer the Aveeno ultra calming daytime moisturizer is amazing it does have SPF in it you want to make sure you're using SPF and your SPF in your makeup doesn't count just forget that even exists like it's great that they put it in there but it's deceiving so you want to use a moisturizer with an SPF or a moisturizer and then an SPF am I over complicating this I feel like I'm over complicating all of this so that's all you need if you're in high school. And the most important thing, like I said, is just to build the routine. Do the routine every night. Keep good habits, that's what you wanna do. And then once you get into college, you can change your routine up a little bit and I can make a different video on that. But for now, this was my video on how to build, how, to, what type of skincare you should be using in high school. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll see you in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.